What up guys, this is Six Sam coming at you from Six Reviews. And today I'm gonna be talking about the All-Star game happening in the Six. So I have to rep all the gear that I got from Adidas. We have just the Adidas hat that I showed you guys before in a previous video. The All-Star hat, let's see if we got there. Yeah, you can see it. And then my last video, if you guys saw what I put up, I have this All-Star East shooting shirt. You got the Raptors logo with the claw and the star, the Adidas, and then the All-Star East, and the best part is saying Toronto, Canada. We got the Jordan pop-up store opening up. It's gonna be crazy. We got pop-up like Adidas and the Under Armour store is going nuts. Livestock is gonna have some things. Exclusivity is gonna have some things. It's gonna be crazy. So Toronto in the six, I cannot wait for it. And there's only one problem when it comes to the All-Star game, and I know a bunch of you guys feel it too. It's the fact that All-Star weekend sometimes lies right along the time as Valentine's Day. And this year, Valentine's Day is on a Sunday, February 14th, and that's when the All-Star game is happening. Now, for everyone that's taken and that's dating, this causes a huge problem. For a lot of you guys, I know a bunch of you guys just wanna watch the All-Star game, and I know a lot of you girls too, you girls just wanna watch the All-Star game, but you feel obligated to hang out with each other on Valentine's Day. This is when the hashtag ball is life really gets into trouble because it's either ball is life or stay single forever. Hashtag ball is life or hashtag no more balls. I can only imagine the conversation being like, hey babe, like I mean on Saturday, do you wanna just watch the dunk contest? Oh, oh, I'll, st I'll start game, oh. Don't visualize it too much, but that's what's basically gonna be happening. So here are three ways you can avoid getting in trouble with when it comes to the All-Star Game and Valentine's Day lying around the same time. Number one, the first way you can avoid getting out of Valentine's conflict is give her a surprise early Valentine's dinner. Surprise her, because everyone's always expecting things on Valentine's weekend or on Valentine's Day, but why don't you surprise her and do it on the Thursday or the Friday, because nobody cares about the celebrity game. Just do an early Valentine's Day dinner, show her, spoil her that day, or spoil him that day, and then you have your free weekend. Number two. See, I'm Asian, I gotta do it like this. I mean, I can do it like this too, but like, yo, yo, what up, what up, too? But I think this is better. Number two. I wouldn't suggest going this route, and this is like a bunch of people just joke about going this route when it comes to Valentine's Day is, you just break up with them two weeks before and then start dating two weeks after. Again, I'm not suggesting that you do this. I'm literally just saying this just to give an idea of what you can do, but do not go this route. But here's an idea. Don't do it, but here's an idea. Again, don't do it, but here's an idea. Also, game's not worth it that much, but if you're really that desperate to watch the All-Star game and you don't wanna buy a Valentine's gift and you wanna save some money, break up with her. Two weeks after, get back together. And number three is the simple way of just going about it. Get on your knees and beg. Literally just get on your knees, give her the puppy eyes. You know the cat from Shrek? Give her those eyes and just say, babe, please, 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 please let me watch the All-Star game because it's the first time in Toronto. And if, even, even if you're not in Toronto, you can, be, you can just tell them. This all-star game is gonna be amazing because it's the first time in Toronto. Babe, just let me, let me, let me, let me watch it. Just let me, let me watch it. <laughs> so just get on your knees and beg. And get ready to go to Tiffany's and make up for all the mistakes you made. I'm just joking, guys. This isn't a big deal. All-star game versus Valentine's Day. Guys, we gotta be honest. A lot of times when we're watching the all-star game, we complain that it's not as fun as we want it to be. All-Star Game has kind of lost its flavor, although Zach Levine in the dunk contest is gonna be crazy. Steph Curry in the three-point contest is gonna be crazy. And it would be even better if Andrew Wiggins represented Canada, represented the six in the dunk contest against his own teammate. Just bring it back to like the Vince and T-Mac days. It's gonna be insane, hopefully. In the comment section below, tell me if you have any ideas of how to get out of the situation of watching an All-Star game or watching any sporting event game versus an important day like Valentine's Day or even an anniversary. This is Six Sam coming at you from Six Reviews. We out.